Welcome back everyone. We're coming to you a little bit early today to update you on some changes with respect to Tropical Storm Herald. And I want to start with the radar here because this is important for the narrative. If you look in the radar here, you can really see this uh, tightening uh, circulation. And this is a little bit to the north of where we were previously tracking it. And it's also based off latest observations a little bit stronger. Now 50 miles per hour uh, maximum sustained winds. But given its close proximity to land, it's probably going to make landfall here in another hour or so. We don't expect significant additional strengthening, so not anticipating a hurricane to make landfall. That said, you can see these really heavy rain bands are starting to move onshore the southern Texas coast. These will spread, uh, spread uh, heavy rains and in, um, in gusty winds, tropical storm force winds. And if we shift over to the, uh, the cone graphic and the watches and warnings, you can see um, the area in blue. So I think the center is probably going to make landfall a little bit on the north edge of this cone. But more importantly, focus on this blue area, which is the area that could receive the tropical storm uh, winds. This is a great example of the importance of the watches and warnings and understanding the impacts from these tropical systems. So not focusing on the cone, but on the warnings. And you can see uh, the tropical storm force winds and the tropical storm warning basically from Brownsville northward covering uh, Corpus Christi. San Antonio, Austin, and Houston, right now you're largely out of this particular threat. Shifting to the rainfall, uh, this is the, the rainfall uh, forecast. This area um, in green, a two to four inches. The system is just moving really, really fast. So that's going to limit the rainfall potential. That said, uh, as these rain bands move ashore in the next couple of hours, you could get uh, hazardous driving conditions. So not a great day to be out and about. If you do have to be out driving in this area, just be sure to be very, very, very safe and don't drive through flooded roads. Same with storm surge. This is not a big storm surge event. Uh, generally one to three inches along the southern Texas coast. This will probably be, uh, it's probably happening right now this afternoon with the, uh, the high tide, uh, one to three feet. So not a big flood maker, but again, not a good day to be at the beach owing to the dangerous surf condi conditions, uh, wave action and potential rip current. Now we have to shift gears over to the east so we can pick up Franklin. So we here have uh, Tropical Storm Franklin, um, not as organized as it was yesterday. Uh, so we don't, again, don't ex anticipate rapid intensification. We're not forecasting this to become a hurricane, but, and this is a big but, but the rainfall threat will be just as significant where we anticipate up to 15 inches of rain over Hispaniola. And as time marches on, it looks like the heaviest rain is going to be focused on the Dominican Republic. Haiti, you're still going to get heavy rain, uh, but I think the, the peak rains are going to be on the Dominican Republic. And even though Puerto Rico, you're over here outside of the cone, you could get several inches of rain too, potentially causing localized flooding. So yet another case of a system that is going to be a big rain maker and a flood maker which all indications are, looks like the heaviest rains are gonna occur over the Dominican Republic. We'll be uh, providing more updates and interim updates on hurricanes.gov, so check back to the website for more information. And of course, we'll always be updating you with these live video streams as necessary or conditions change.